Guys, you have some big crypto news to talk about in the market today. So we're going to be talking about everything you guys need to know in the market today to stay up to date in the crypto space. And we'll also be talking about the Luna Classic cryptocurrency. What is the latest information about this crypto and why has it went up 25% in the last 24 hours? We'll be talking about that in this video. So if that sounds good to you guys, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far. And guys, I want to kick it off with a little bit of bullish news. Even though I understand the crypto market, it is a little bit frosty right now. But if you guys are still holding your crypto, hit the thumbs up button. And guys, let's listen in to Michael Saylor, one of the biggest Bitcoin whales out there right now. What does he have to say about Bitcoin? And the skeptics have always said, well, it's real. It's better than gold, but it's so good. It's too good to be true. And the government's going to ban it. So if the deniers are wrong and if the skeptics are wrong, and it's pretty obvious they're both wrong at this point, it's not going to zero. And if it's not going to zero, it's going to a million because it's obviously better than gold at everything that gold wants to be. And, and if it was just worth what gold is worth, it'd be 500,000 a coin. So there you guys go right there. So one of the most bullish Bitcoin whales out there, Michael Saylor, says Bitcoin is going to a million dollars. Even though the crypto market right now, it is a little bit frosty with the overall FUD about, you know, the US recession and things like that. But in the long run, Michael Saylor is saying Bitcoin is going to 1 million right there, which is pretty exciting. We also have some other important news to talk about in the crypto space today. So have a look at this. 20 million tokens lost as market maker Wintermute takes blame. So there has been, unfortunately, another crypto hack in the crypto space. An attacker deployed layer one multi-signature technology to the layer two before the Wintermute recovery team. So unfortunately, there has been another hack in the crypto space and it is a good reminder it does come with that reward and risk in crypto so always remember crypto high reward high risk and uh, definitely unfortunate to see another crypto hack out there we also have this news but this is bullish news right here so solana ventures sets up 100 million dollar fund for game and DeFi in south korea so the new fund is intended to support the growth of nft gaming and DeFi projects on solana and to help keep former Terra developers on their feet following Terra's fall. So this is really good news. You guys know South Korea is probably one of the top crypto countries in the world up there with Dubai, up there with the USA. And uh, this is good to see. So $100 million, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of investment being made into NFTs, blockchain gaming and decentralized finance. And so even though the crypto market may feel a little bit frosty, you know, real money is still getting invested into DeFi, gaming, NFTs and uh, this is good for the future of cryptocurrency. So good for the Solana ecosystem and good for other people out in the crypto space as well. So some bullish news despite the volatility in the crypto space today. And guys, let's talk about Terra Luna burn. Okay, so there has been a big increase in the price just recently in Luna Classic. I've seen it trend over on Twitter, lots of interest. So what's happened here, guys, is it does look like I've seen the tweets, I've seen the notifications. This proposal 3568, this one has passed okay so you have over 100 million votes in favor of yes and uh, this is interesting so what is it going to do guys it's going to put a tax slash burn 1.2 percent all transactions okay so a burn 1.2 percent on all transactions that are going to happen in terra luna classic and they're saying right here this mechanism should be true until the total supply is reduced to 10 billion for Luna Classic. After that, the mechanism would be disabled, so the total supply can never be changed. And uh, this is really, really interesting for Luna Classic. So I have seen lots of tweets getting put out there over on Twitter talking about this. You can see a Luna Classic whale right here, and you can see a bit of an increase in Luna Classic price right now. And if you guys are interested in trading Luna Classic, one of the best places to trade it is over on Qcoin. So you can sign up to Qcoin use my affiliate link in the description you get up to $500 worth of tether for completing some tasks on Qcoin right there so it's always good to get free crypto in the crypto space where you can and uh, but again nice increase in the price of Luna Classic okay so it's still early days but the vote is looking good guys so the vote for Luna Classic is looking good right now this looks potentially to become a reality in the future and uh, with that vote there has been a bit of interest back into Luna Classic right here on the price graph you guys can see it right here but 
what realistically would be the next step for this? Okay, so this needs to be implemented. And then, you know, once you have this transaction tax, and we talk about lots of cryptos on Crypto Zeus that have transaction taxes, they are good ways to fuel the ecosystem. They are good ways to burn down the supply as well. Now, potentially that this 1.2% uh, tax will come into play for Luna Classic in the future. You know, you need to give people a reason to transact in that ecosystem, okay? So you need a reason to, uh, you know, put burns through for Luna Classic. So is there going to be a play to earn game or is there going to be some other type of uh, DeFi opportunity? Kind of what is the big utility here? So this is going to have to get built out uh, by the community uh, in Luna Classic. So that's realistically going to be the next step. But again, it's a really nice step in the right direction for Luna Classic. So it's not over yet. You know, it is a high reward, high risk crypto. And we do know as well, a lot of, you know, interest from Doquan or the leadership of Terra 2.0 it's focused on Terra 2.0 at the moment. So you guys can see Terra Money putting out tweets about packs right there, about building out some other things on Terra 2.0. But there is still a community out there who do want to see Terra Luna Classic succeed. So guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys prefer Luna Classic or do you guys prefer Terra 2.0? Or do you prefer both? Or do you actually own neither? I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Are you owning other cryptos in the crypto space? Comment down below. What is your biggest crypto holding? Do you just hold Bitcoin? Do you hold another crypto? SHIB? Comment down below. Interested to hear your thoughts today, guys. And guys, we also have some inspiration from CZ as well. So check out this tweet retweeted from CZ himself. If you work hard enough, you won't hear any noise. So that is true, guys. So one way to make money in the crypto space is you just got to work hard. You got to focus. And uh, potentially, could you get a side hustle generator? more revenue to help you along your journey towards financial freedom so that is the destination for a lot of crypto traders out there so some nice inspiration from cz of binance and guys with that let's check out the crypto prices today so at the time of recording this you can see luna classic up 28.2 percent so congratulations to luna classic holders out there hnt up 17.7 percent theta a bit of interest in there it's up 6.7 percent luna 2.0 down a bit today and uh, a mixed day on the crypto market and again if we do take a look at the Bitcoin charts right now and this is a key indicator of where the rest of the market is going we are seeing basically you know this battle around the 30,000 uh, point we are seeing lots of waves in the crypto space so you can see these waves kind of moving around but it realistically is staying around the $30,000 mark which is good so I think $30,000 even though you know the crypto prices haven't been surging uh, like the good old times in the crypto space holding up the 30k level is still pretty good because we have to understand if you do take a zoom out on the economy me right now there is still a ton of fud out there and uh, i do think cryptocurrency is holding up well and we did see that speech from michael saylor at the start of the video so he thinks bitcoin in the future will go to one million dollars okay so one million dollars in the future that is what one of the biggest bitcoin holders in the world is saying right there so guys it's going to be interesting to see where bitcoin goes in the future and remember guys this is still early days in the crypto space so if you have a long-term mindset about some great quality projects out there big utility, big potential adoption, revenue generation, things like that. I do think there is some nice potential out there. But guys, that is a massive wrap on the crypto market for today. If you guys like to stay up to date with the latest and greatest crypto news, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I hope your crypto journey does go well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.